First one, that is what we all are here. There is a huge urbanization which is happening which you and me cannot stop. It is an indicator or one of the indicator of our development and that's why we all are here talking about making green buildings, right? So the top risk we have to be very very careful about or we have to be cognizant about that. It is a climate risk. Will you all agree with me? This is the top most risk presently, not, not about a financial risk. Financial risk has gone to fourth or fifth place. So in that aspect, so how, uh, why, why did we land you know, in the, such a situation that a financial risk is well taken care or a cyber risk is well taken care but the climate risk still we all are you know, struggling. I think my previous speaker has very aptly put it, construction or a sustainable construction, it is not the only end of the things. There are a lot of other things when we start living, how do we live, how do we use our natural resources. I think my topic for today is that then when we start living, we need to be responsible enough to dispose our waste. So we are talking about single-use plastic. I think let me just share some numbers. I will start with global and then we will come to India and then we will come to Hyderabad because we all live in Hyderabad, right? So we all know that single-use plastic, it is commonly used plastic, plastic we all are using but it is used and thrown, thrown away as a plastic item, right? And includes straws, utensils, bottles and groceries, uh, no, grocery uh, bags and all, right? Chemically, single-use plastics last forever but are generally designed to be used only once. That's why we are calling it. Can anybody tell what is a micron presently prescribed by our Central Pollution Control Board through our hazardous waste management rules? 2016, then it is again changed or you know amended in 2018, then 2021, and then 2024. So there is a constant change which we are doing. The micron of the bag, <coughs> which used to be 50 micron earlier, has been made 80 micron. Now, as of 2022 December, we all have to be compliant. We cannot use a bag lesser than 120 micron. We all are aware of that, right? That is where we are going towards that. Not that 120 micron bag, you use it and you throw. No, that bag gives more stability for us to reuse. That's the reason. That is not that, you know, all of a sudden it becomes more sustainable. Okay? So, so globally, I think the 350 number is, I don't know, a lot of coincidence here. 350 million tons of waste globally we are producing. And again, it comes to Hyderabad, it is 350 tons per day. There is a coincidence. But again, there is a 3.5. I'll come, come back to that. There is a slide for that. Okay. So, if at all we are going like this, I know, I know the figure is projected to be tripled by 2060, reaching a staggering 1 billion, 1 billion metric tons per day. Less than 10%, can you just believe it? Less than 10% only is a recyclable. At least we are currently being recycled. Very, very sad set of affairs. Okay. So, why should we, you know, reuse, you know, the, instead of throwing or, uh, you know, giving away our bags, why should we do that? What are the reasons? The reason for even the government to, you know, increase the micron size so that you will not throw it. You remember, when you bring a bag from a shopping mall or some a big shop, you will not throw it, right? You will reuse it because the micron of that is more. <coughs> that is the reason the encouragement is there. So there are nine main reasons. First of all, it is made from fossil fuels, the most of the bags, okay? And then it naturally amounts to huge carbon footprint, my friends. Very, very, very well articulated the earlier presentation about the embodied carbon and then the other carbon, the emission, the operational carbon, right? So the lot of huge carbon potential and then will be there for 100 years. I will, and my next slide talks about each of the item, what we use in our daily life, how it is, you know, what, when it can get decomposted. So we'll talk about that. The bag will be it's going to be there for hundreds of years. Okay, it will not get decomposted. So naturally, there will be a huge landfills will be required. Only a tiny percent we already talked about. It is less than 10 percent is getting recycled. Right? 
and it leaches to toxin to the food and drink. So dangerous. Causes hormone disruptions and it can cause cans cancers. It can be cancerous. Okay. And uh, it pollutes our, our oceans. I have a dedicated slide because we all need to maintain and manage our flora and fauna for us to you know, live, a better, you know, live in a better world. That is why I have a dedicated slide to tell, give you a perspective about how many fishes are there and how many plastic bottles are there so that you can at least understand where we are reaching. I have a number up to 2050. Okay. So, naturally it kills all your marine flora and fauna, the aqua animals and birds because they mistakenly, it becomes like a food like, you know, when it becomes bundled, the fish or the other aqua, you know, you know, creatures, they think that there is a food and they will try to in, ingest or they will eat that. So, naturally we lose a lot of marine, you know, life. Then it naturally enters into the food chain. We do not, we do not know. We do the cling wraps, we do a lot of other wraps and then we take out and do it, but a lot of carbon there. Okay. So, this is the slide which he talks about. It's just a general idea about, you know, how much time we all use it and then we might throw it or we'll just give it to, you know, some kabadi wala or we do it in a very responsible way, sometime recycle it, some donations, you know, is happening, we go and do that. So, just think about it, the items, what we use and again, you know, just try that we are taught that we are removed from our house, but we are not removed from the ecosystem. Be aware of that. Okay. The milk cartons, what we talked about, five years to, you know, decompose. The rubber boots, we are, which we are using, 40 to 80 years. And then aluminum cans, 80 to 200 years. Beverage holders, 200 to 450 years. And then disposable diapers, around 250 to 500 years. Then fishing lines, which is very predominant in the <coughs> oceans, 600 to 660 years. Now our main gentlemen who are whom, whom we all use, <coughs> how many we use also, I am having a slide. Okay, and how many of you, how many you eliminate if you responsibly use a cloth bag also, I am having a slide. Okay, 100 to 1000 years for a plastic bag. Just imagine, it cannot get, you know, the biodegradation, I mean, it will not happen. You are just, just going to, you know, increment a lot of increase in you know that your your landfills will will fall short if you are not you, you are we are just going and throwing it just see that in the morning when you go and see the dustbin and see that you know that when the cupboard the, the 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 waste management team takes imagine the number of plastic bags which is going every day and this see the it is on a, almost on the third largest third highest right and then for 450 to 1000 plastic bottles up to 1000 years and then styrofoam, the gentleman, we all, styrofoam also we use, right? In the packaging material. In our homes it comes sometimes, right? That is, even we can never <coughs> recycle it. Okay? A perspective which gives about that, as I rightly said, in the, my first slide I talked about, less than 10% only getting recycled. Okay? It is there, just see this last number, disposal of all plastic waste ever generated, 9%. I told you less than 10%, right? 9% to be very precise, only 9% gets recycled, okay? 12% when we send it to landfills and then incineration, the, the authorized or unauthorized, there is a lot of unauthorized sector, you know, when the waste is being. So, 12% only is getting incinerated. And then 79% still landfills and oceans, it is ending up in oceans and the landfills. And some numbers, 100 million marine animals are die each year <coughs> from the plastic waste alone. St staggering numbers. I, I think I don't know. Uh, just to just give you the pulse of the amount of damage the single-use plastic is going to create. I am just giving these numbers. Plastic takes 500,000 years to degrade. I already told about that, right? And there are 5.2 5 trillion pieces of plastic waste estimated to be in our oceans. Just imagine. So, I mean, these are some numbers and uh, I'll just go to the next slide, okay. So, this, see, this slide is really, you know, <coughs> giving the summary of all our pain in the ocean. <coughs> if uh, there is an estimation which is taken in 2014 that the plastic to, you know, fish ratio was 1 is to 5 in 2014. Can you believe in 2050 it is going to be 
वन इज टू वन सी दिस द प्लास्टिक इज मोर इन द फिश इज लेस थिंक अबाउट इट जस्ट रिफ्लेक्ट हाउ वी आर यूजिंग वेयर अवर जनरेट वेन द फ्लोरा एंड फोना यू नो वेयर इट इज एडिंग सो दिस स्लाइड रियली पेन्स मी वेन एवर आई सी दैट फिगर वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू वन पॉइंट वन इज टू वन वन इज टू फाइव एंड टू वन वन इज टू वन दिस शुड रिफ्लेक्ट इन यूर माइंड एवरी टाइम वेन यू इनरेस्पॉन्सिबली थ्रो ए प्लास्टिक बैग सो इंडियन नंबर हियर इंडिया जनरेट अप्रॉक्सिमेटली थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मिलियन टन्स इन अक्रॉस द ग्लोब थ्री पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन टन्स इन इंडिया then in hyderabad it is 350 tons per day there is a connection so i just wanted to you know keep that in mind 350 3.5 million tons of plastic waste generated you know annually here the there it is that per day the per capita plastic waste generation has almost doubled over the last 5 years and the pet the water used in the mineral water in the cold drinks they are the significant portion we just use it at random and we throw it they are the ones who are the you know So here the numbers are there. You can see that residential areas alone produced around 365 tons. Around I think 50 the last uh, year or so it is increased to 365 tons per day of the plastic waste, which could escalate to 4 ton, 495 tons per day by 2025. Just a year after we are going to have 20, you know, to 495. Where are we heading? And it is not, you know, may, you know, as far when we will be, you know. Entirely engrossed with the plastic around us, littered everywhere. So just 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 reflect about that. I know there is lot of initiatives, especially from our Telangana government, also is being taken up. I have a last slide. Don't forget to just you know, reflect. The last slide is talked about the housing complexes. We are all we are all talking about you know a green buildings, right? So the every building will have a society, right? There, I have some tips for a societies to you know. you know evolve themselves and you know work on these uh, waste uh, segregation the waste aspects that is the last slide don't leave that one okay okay so this is the government website photograph so why i want i just wanted to give some legal compliance there will be some students here so you should know the legal angle right that's the reason this when you open the website this is the one you will get it <coughs> so what are the regulation says so the The, I, the, I talked about the plastic, you know, man, amendment management was 2024. It started in, you know, 2016, 18. There was the amendment 2020, 2021. So plastic waste management amendment rule 21, yeah, prohibiting the identifying single-use plastic. Micron size, see this. Thickness of the plastic carry bags change from 50 to 75 up to 30, 30 September 2021, and then 120 micron. I told you, as of 31st December 2022. Now, beyond that, we are now into 120 range. so this is a compliance for you so even there is a penalty provisions from the ghmc also please remember that it may not be much around 100 200 for a non compliance so that kind of a provisions are already there okay just imagine that and what is that what is this the ras is the manufacture import stocking distribution sale and use of following single use including polystyrene and expanded polystyrene commodity all shall be prohibited that from 1st july that is year bird Plastic sticks, plastic stick of balloons, plastic bags, candy sticks, ice creams—all these things. Just imagine. I mean, so it it all will be in you know, us banned. We need to look for the alternate. Okay. So we also have, you know, alternate to single-use plastics. Lot of alternates. I can go on giving you know hundreds, but the time will not permit. Few I picked up. Reusable water bottles, very important. <coughs> we all instead of using plastic bottles, opt for the reusable bottles. You take your carry your own bottle. Carry a steel steel bottle or a glass bottle may be difficult. reusable sandwich bags replace disposable ziploc bags with reusable sandwich bags okay stainless steel i already talk, talked about it bamboo cutlery it's a very you know bamboo is abundant still thank i mean still we are not gone to a stage where bamboo is not available still it is available so we can talk, you know go for that and biodegradable organic cotton bags use this grocery for grocery you can always in the car you must have one shopping bag a wooden uh, no wooden uh, yeah cloth shopping bag always desirable okay then a borosilicate glass bottles the bottle quality borosilicate bottles you can have okay reusable you know organic cotton makeup i have just given only few there are so many alternates okay the washable diapers also is a possibility and we used to have in our ancient times we have grown diet only not that we had 
you know, a bag, go to a supermarket and purchase their diapers and then bring it. No. 50 years back, there was no diapers. There was, a, you know, washable diapers. We all have come from that stage. I think we all are again going that way. And that is where is the rush. So, again into figures, you know, into the visuals, reusable bottles, reusable straws, sto store, you know, food in glass containers, refillable household products, bring your own coffee mug. We have done a lot of campaigns in our, you know, IT companies and all other. We all, actually we are doing it. We have already eliminated our paper cups are no more being used. <coughs> no more being used because it has got a thin, thin layer of plastic. So it's banned. Okay. So we are already, you know, encouraging, uh, you know, the glassware or the steelware. Okay. So bring your own shopping bag. We talked about that. And uh, buy loose tea leaves. Because uh, that, you know, it will not have again, you know, one more, some plastic, you know, some other kind of waste material as a packaging. Loose, you bring it and then you make the tea. That's it. Use washable not cloth napkins, reuse plastic containers, pack your own lunch, okay? Use reusable food wraps. There are available, okay? You can just wash it and clean it and use it. Store potatoes and onions in a, in the basket in the dark place, okay? So... I told about, I, I, gave, I am going to give you a perspective, I told. If you use, this is a perspective, four alternate the plastic waste, you save in a year how much you can. If you, if you use one regular <coughs> cloth bag every day in your life, in a year you will be saving 783 plastic bags. Imagine about that. Just reflect one bag you are carrying, you can avoid 783. One person, then just imagine, multiply. One reusable bottle. Any bottle, when you are using it, refilling it and using it, 83 plastic bottles you can, you can eliminate. One reusable cup, 1,256 plastic cups you can eliminate. These numbers will you know, sit in our mind, basically. How we can... One reusable straw is equal to 295 plastic straw you can avoid. Wonderful, right? Start, you know, a, a drop, a drop, naturally, to add to a drop, again to add to a drop, then there is a river, then there is an ocean. So this is how we can, you know, I think. So there is, it is gone three, reduce, recycle and reuse. It is a outdated philosophy. It is now not even five hours. It is now, we are talking about seven hours. That is the future because we are, we are not, we were not responsible all these years. So the seven hours of the recycling, so just think tomorrow if you have to, you know, these are the ways and means we can at least be responsible. Naturally, you reduce it, reduce the usage. If there is no requirement, don't use it. Don't ask for it. There is always a choice when he is asking, Sir, you want a bag? No, I don't want. Okay, you reduce the usage. Refuse, as I told rightly, you refuse. Reduce and refuse and reuse. There are bags, one, 120 micron and above, you will be using it, right? So carry that, even if you are having a plastic bag of 120 micron and above, carry, put it in your you know, car so that you are not using for a fresh bag, so you are reusing it. Repair, some of the things you can even repair it. Of course, there are few things where, where you are carrying some items, if it is then we will all tie in a knot, right? You know, then we can, we can always repair few of the things. It is not, we can just stitch it. You know, if it is a having higher macaron, we can reuse it. Otherwise, it will cost you money outside, right? And the recycling, of course, without saying, naturally we need to do in a responsible way, recycling. Rethink. Before you ask for a plastic bag, rethink, rethink, rethink. Okay. Then re gift. Gift wrappage. We can even use the wrap, wrapper which comes, somebody given you a gift. You can reuse the you know, wrapper once again. There is a possibility you carefully you remove, you can reuse it. That's how it is. Okay. So this any any there are some role models in cricket. And today and recently we saw a video, very rare video. Yeah, our grandmaster of our India, Indian grandmaster, right? Uh, he, is, he is being asked for the autographs, the new grandmaster. So proud movement for all of us. Because only cricketers used to have that kind of a luxury. See this small baby girl of 10 years, she is one of our unsung hero. What she is doing, you know? She is putting a small kiosk, her name is Lisi Priya Kangujam. Okay, she is a 10 year old environment and climate activity and has opened a world's first plastic money shop. You go and take your all single-use plastic items, that is a currency for her. No questions asked, she will give you either a money or she will give some
stationary to use such a wonderful, a 10 year old, she's our Indian, you know, a girl who is, you know, there's so many such thought process has to, you know, uh, has to come. So this definitely an unsung hero. I wanted to just flash it here today that you sit in your mind. A small way she may be doing, but it sends a lot of message for all of us, all the adults. Okay. So I told you there will be a last slide for the Residents Association, what we call as a RWS, a Resident Welfare Association for all these buildings, what we are going to purchase, then you will have societies, right? So there is a responsibility, even the state government is also encouraging these associations to, you know, <coughs> compete for a waste management, best waste management segregation award, a best manage, managed society. You can see that resident welfare associations are considered as the key companions. They are the key stakeholders because so many, you know, so much of, you know, uh, the, the, the urban, urbanization is there. So urbanization with a responsibility. So this, that is why I am bringing this, specially bringing to your notice that you have a responsibility. Society is not only managing the money, managing, you know, the, some affairs, managing some social events. It is also the responsibility of the resident welfare associations to manage the environment. And you have an opportunity, and you have an opportunity to compete. There is, an, uh, you know, I think I have given a website, and there is an annual, you know, contests are happening. You can also compete for that. That's it from my side. Thank you.